was the last time when you took five minutes to do nothing? I mean, absolutely nothing. No reading, no emailing, no texting, no Facebook, and even not thinking about the past or the future. Just peacefully being. We live in an incredibly busy world. Our mind is always busy. We are always doing something. The most of us are working in a demanding work environment. Specific objectives, short deadlines, no routine on the job. And unfortunately, this kind of rush attitude is more and more true for our personal life as well. We keep delaying appointments, or even we are not organizing anything, as we don't have time for our friends. More and more, this is the kind of life we live. And we don't understand. Our mind is one of the most valuable assets we have. Be happy, emotionally stable, creative, or just perform our best. These things are all depend on our mind. And we are almost doing nothing to ensure our mind is on top shape. I'm after a very tough period. There were major changes in my workplace. New environment, new people, new requirements. Everything was new around me. Short deadlines. I was running from meeting to meeting, jumping from report to report, doing many things in parallel to deliver everything on time. But I have to tell you, I like that. Because when you feel you solve the problems. You see the people around you are happy. They are satisfied. You see the result. You like that. You enjoy that. And if the changes in work weren't enough, we started to renovate our new home. If you have ever made any renovation, you know it's a very, very big work. Many decisions, discussions, search for ideas or materials. It was a very, very intense period in my life. A few months ago, I was on my way home with the feeling, I'm OK for today, so what's next? What to do now? And that was the first moment when I realized, maybe there is no next. There is no next on my to-do list that hit me. No next? Is it OK? No rush for anything? Because during the last couple of years, I was always running after something. I lived my life in a problem-solving mode. And I just did not have any time to my hobbies or just to enjoy what I'm doing, how I'm doing, and what I reached. I could not focus on my friends, on my family, the most important people in my life, because many times they were talking to me, but I did not hear any word, because I was far, very far away. Did you know? 47% of the time, people are thinking about something other, what they are currently doing. 47%. Of course, I also try different activities to relax, to slow down, switch myself off. So first what I did, I went to a yoga course. But unfortunately, I can recall only two things. First, I'm not flexible enough. And then at the end of the yoga lesson, we reached the meditation part. I tried to follow the instructions. You are at a beautiful place. Blue sky, green fields, beautiful mountains and lake. And you just go into the water. And that was the last moment. Because in the meantime, I started to thinking, what to do then? I have to go shopping, what to go cook for dinner. Or maybe we go to a restaurant or 
Did I really turn off the lamp in the bathroom? I just could not really enjoy what I was doing. I just could not be, really be with myself in the present. Or I always wanted to draw. So when I first heard about this right brain side drawing course, I thought, it's for me. I tried. it. So I went to this course, and on the third day, I was drawing a portrait. It was amazing. That was the moment when I could really reach that point to clear my mind and just focus on one thing. And then I decided, OK, I can do this. So I will draw my portrait, and that will be my Facebook profile picture. So I went home, and a few days later, I tried again. But unfortunately, I could not bring back again that moment. And I still don't have a Facebook profile picture. But I started my journey. I also tried to find those activities which help me to slow down, relax, and switch myself off, and really enjoy the things around me. So I enjoy my new beautiful home. We finished the renovation. I started cook. I gardening in my small balcony. And I try to find every day at least five minutes just to be present with myself. We don't need to do too much. Really, just find five minutes every day, any time during the day, and just enjoy. And maybe sometimes, just feel free to do nothing, absolutely nothing.